What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have great news for those of you waiting for Kalabanga Lite on Windows. Yes, it's that program that allows you to basically install themes and custom icons and some tweaks on iOS, even iOS 16.5, iOS 17 even, and iOS 15.7, stuff like that without the jailbreak. And yeah, that tool works on all devices. It doesn't require a jailbreak and it works even on the newest iPhone 14 and stuff like that. But that tool's Windows version is getting closer and closer. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS downgrade tool which is available for both Windows and Mac OS and this one allows you to basically easily and efficiently downgrade back to iOS 16.5 if of course you have issues with iOS 17 beta because iOS 17 beta is indeed a developer beta which can be very buggy. A lot of applications don't work anymore and of course you will experience some issues. So with this tool you can easily revert back to a stable iOS version if iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 doesn't work for you. You can easily upgrade and downgrade with this. You can install iOS 17 as well and of course this supports all devices that are supported by iOS 17 so no issues in there. The downgrade is actually quite easy to do, you just follow the steps on the application and it will downgrade your device in about 10 minutes if you don't like iOS 17 or if it's too buggy for you. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's also available on altphone.com. Alright so the main developer of Kawabunga Lite and Kawabunga of course posted this quote Windows plus icon overlays for Mac version 1.2 has entered its final beta. The release is slotted for the Friday the 30th. So of course that's going to be tomorrow. Today is June 29th, at least in here. Tomorrow is going to be Friday the 30th and we're going to get the Windows version plus icon overlays. Where the other developer of Kawabanga Lite said in here, quote, I am working on a totally rewriting Kawabanga Lite for Windows in pure C++. Done so far, the status bar tweaks, generating and restoring from backups, and to come all the other tweaks and its UI that isn't an unholy crossover. And yeah, as you can see, this is basically the UI they have so far and yeah it looks a lot like the Kaobanga for Mac OS which of course has the icon theming, the explore tab where you get the themes and the home page in here and yeah they also posted in here another page done and the UI is slightly refined. I kind of like the Mac OS -ish style and yeah yeah it does look good. It kind of looks like Mac OS if you ask me and this is basically very close to how Kaobanga Lite works and looks like on Mac OS. So it's great to finally have it ported over to Windows. For those of you who are unaware of the Kaobanga Bunga Lite project. It basically allows you to install themes and custom icons and some status bar changes like change your carrier name, change the time text, change the battery details, control center modifications, springboard modifications, changing the animation speed and disabling lock after respring and stuff like that. You can change the shutdown sound, whatever. There are a lot of tweaks that you can do in here but the best thing is that it allows you to install themes as you can see from here on any device running iOS 15.0 up to 16.5. Even iOS 17 beta is supported. So no matter what device you have, it's going to be supported, you can customize your icons, you can change the icon themes and stuff like that. And yeah, it looks good, you can have themes without a jailbreak. This is not a jailbreak, it's by no means a jailbreak, but it does work fine for theming and some light tweaks. Which of course nowadays when jailbreaking is basically pretty bad, it's actually pretty rare to get a jailbreak, especially for the newer devices, it's nice to have at least Kawabanga. So yeah, Kawabanga is definitely coming soon for Windows, the Kawabanga Lite is scheduled to be released tomorrow. So definitely Definitely wait for it, it's going to allow you to at least have some themes and some tweaks on your device. Thank you for watching, I am GS now, peace out.